Hey. Hey, X. Wake up. What the fuck? Wake up! Wake, Wake up, up, X! Get up! Get up! Come on! Bam! Welcome back, people. Welcome back to another video. I'm Xavier Spade, and I'm your professional magician. Today, we're going to be looking at a performance from America's Got Talent. And the reason why I wanted to look at this was because a couple of my friends, uh, namely Brent Braun, who owns a magic shop, the link will be in the description below, and my friend Daniel Garcia work on the act. Now I haven't seen the act yet, we're going to be watching it together, and I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on it. It seemed kind of interesting and I figured it'd be a cool thing to do. But other than that, there's really not much to talk about other than my amazing shirt, which uh, says in my defense I was left unsupervised. So there you go, there's nothing more to it. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a professional magician out of uh, New York City. I do some consulting, I do some creation, I own a magic store online called Lost Art Magic where we create magic for magicians and you can learn some yourself and uh, I also have my own playing cards which you can also get all the links for that will be in the description below because I think it puts me in a unique position to watch this stuff because the things I look for are a little different and I like to see when things come together especially when I have some great friends who helped make it come together let's check out this routine so the routine we're gonna be checking out is by Dustin Tavella I think is his name T Tavella I'm gonna go with Dustin Tavella dude if I'm saying your name wrong please forgive me I'm sorry I'm not great with names it's a personal issue but I heard that they did something pretty unique with this and uh, I, I'm really interested to see what they do so let's just break it down into it and watch the video what's up guys how you guys doing so good to be back so look when my wife Karen and I first started dating I was going through some pretty tough times but Carrie always made it a point to remind me why she fell in love with me oh. and she would send cards and she would leave notes just to let me know that she believed in me no matter what it's already he's bringing in that emotional hook uh, talking about something close to him that's uh, bringing that in and trying to get everybody hooked in before he even starts the routine, which is dope. Judges, I want you to think of someone in your life who makes you feel seen. It could be a spouse, a friend, a mentor, a child. You guys all have someone in mind? Yes. Got someone? Yeah. Cool. Simon, of all of those markers in front of you, what color do you feel best represents the person that you're thinking of? What color is that? Purple. Purple? Can you please pass that purple marker over to Sophia? Yep. Thank you, sir. Sophia, in front of you are postcards from places around the world that are on our bucket list. I want you to select the one that you think may connect best with the person you have in your mind. And Anyone. Do I write something on it? Um, no, that's going to be for Heidi. Oh. But see, you're the magician. You already know what's coming. Okay. <laughs> so already breaking the, tra the chains here. Obviously, they've had other magicians before where somebody picks a color and somebody signs something. So she's she already knows the next step, which I thought was funny that <laughs> her job is to do something completely different. <laughs> but you, you, you can pick the postcard. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like she feels like she's useless at that point, but I mean, her choice is important. <laughs> Which one did you pick? Venice. Venice? Awesome. Can you please pass Venice over to Heidi as well? Okay, touch. There <laughs> you guys are amazing. So, um, <laughs> Heidi, when, when you think about this person in your life, yeah. what's a word that comes to mind? I write it on you. Yeah, yeah. What's the word? Curious. Curious? Yeah. Speaking of curious, I'm wondering why he's specifically making them say what they've done out loud. Like, it's pretty obvious that Simon picked a purple marker and that, you know, whatever. I think it's just weird that they're outwardly making them say their choices. I don't know, just weird. Yeah, write that real big on the back Gosh, and with well, Simon's I'll marker. Yeah, perfect. That. Truth be told, I know why they're saying it and making them say it. I just, I don't know, it just seems a little weird. 
Beautiful. And I'm actually going to take that from you. And um, last up, Howie, right. of all of these envelopes, which one do you feel best represents the person you're thinking of? I'm colorblind. Are you? Oh, no. This is a terrible... Oh, no. There's a table full of colors and Howie can't see any of them. <laughs> oh, no. idea. <laughs> this one? Okay. Why not? All right. <laughs> Dude, I can only imagine what Garcia and Brent were thinking backstage if they were there. They were just like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a great That's surprise. Funny, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> How he meant Look, even Dustin is going crazy because he can't believe it. It's like a, a one of those weird oversights, like 70% of males are colorblind or something like that. And nobody thinks to think if somebody's colorblind. Like, we all know Howie has like a germophobia thing, but <laughs> it's funny. No, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so... Before I put this postcard into this envelope, Terry Crews, can you please join me on stage? Give it up for Terry Crews. What's going on, Terry? Bro, Terry Crews dresses like a boss, bro. Woof. Hey. So Terry, I'm gonna have you tear off a corner of this postcard, okay? But don't- Even his shoes are go- Bro, Terry Crews. You're the man, bro. Just make it like a straight tear. Make it somewhat unique. Okay. We're gonna use that corner in just a moment as something like a receipt. Oh, he's getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. And I'm gonna take this. Okay. And um, just hold on to that corner for now. Now, judges, look. You guys collectively made something super unique that represents the people who have impacted each of your lives. Unfortunately. Sometimes we can become so consumed with life that we can start to take for granted the people who've impacted us the most. And we can start to function as if they're not even there. That was a weird place to cut. Terry, can you please do something? Can you name one of the judges for me? Heidi. Heidi? Can we do something we've never done before? Can we bring down Heidi's ex? Oh. Oh, I thought your ex husband. I, I thought they were talking about her ex-boyfriend too. Which one? Like which ex-husband? Then you have to. Okay. Two up, two exes. Um, so look, having people like this in our lives is super valuable because these people they see, they see who we are, and they give us grace when we need it. And this is exactly what Carrie has been to me. She loves me, she forgives, and she makes me better. And when we have someone like this in our lives, when it's real, their words and their impact, they become a part of us. And because they become a part of us, they're always there with us. No, Even when we've seemingly no. forgot about them. <laughs> now look, this is only impressive if this really is the postcard that you guys just made a moment ago, the postcard that Sophia chose. No. With Heidi's word on the back, written in Simon's marker. And Terry, can you come up here? Because this becomes absolutely impossible if that corner that you're holding really is the missing piece of this postcard. Terry. Can you please make sure that is an exact match? That's exact. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now look, Carrie's words really have become a part of who I am. 
And even though she and the boys can't be here tonight, she still left me one of those notes to let me know that she believes in me. It says, hey babe, I love you and believe in you, but please just know that even if Simon doesn't pick the purple marker, (laughs) and even if Sophia doesn't choose Venice, (laughs) and even if Heidi doesn't say curious, and even if Howie doesn't pick the green envelope, it was green, yeah. (laughs) Oh my God, poor guy. (laughs) We will always have each other, and so we've already won. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dustin Tavella. Thank you guys so much. Good job. Thank you guys. Good job, good job. So a few thoughts on this routine. I thought there was a few weird moments. Uh, You know, the build up to the routine, you know, the speech about his love and his wife. Great, cool, good way to bring people in, you know? The selection process seemed really fair. It wasn't until they start burning the envelope that things kind of start feeling weird. And I really think it was the way things were edited. I don't know if it was editing to cover certain things or editing that AGT does. Cause I know usually there's a magician in the editing room if it's for that, but maybe for a show like this, they don't allow that. So this just may be AGT's editing, but it seems like things were edited at the wrong kind of times when you really need to be able to see what's happening. I mean, either way, the routine is great and the effect is great. And and knowing Garcia and Brent Braun, it's a, a dope method and, and the, the methods that they're using work. But it just felt really weird when he burns the envelope and when he goes to pick up or right before he goes to pick up the lighter, they cut to something for a while, and then they come back, and then they're bringing out the, the, the ladder, and it just takes forever to get, I don't know, just feel feels weird. And maybe I'm nitpicking, but I mean, that's what I'm here for, right? I'm here to nitpick. But either way, Dustin Tavella, good job. Howie was hilarious, considering he didn't know that what he, it still makes me laugh. Uh, and then at the end, they had that confabulation. Earlier in the video, I said, I think it's weird that they're saying things out loud, but I think I know why. And it's because of that. Without going too much into it, that part of the routine is called a confabulation. And there's a few different ways to do it. But more importantly, there's a few different ways to get the information from whoever has it to that paper. With the method they were using, I think I understand why they cut it, but I think they could have done a better job. That's about it. I think the routine was dope. The story was dope. Dustin did a good job. He seems like he's very personable and likable and a great storyteller. So that's dope. And I hope he does well. I don't know if he made it past this round. I kind of hope he did. He did. If you guys want to learn some more magic, you guys can check my YouTube channel, which is right here. I do all kinds of different tutorials. I also have my magic company, Lost Art Magic, where you can learn other magic effects, including apps. And I even sell playing cards, which you can get some of your own if you'd like to do that too. Guys, I appreciate everything. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified of my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm